In this short screencast I will guide you to the extraction of a basin of a watershed and I will not stop on the scientific details I will really rush through it to keep this tutorial short. So from the digital elevation model first thing we have to remove the sinks for this we can use pit filler so we simply can drag the layer into the input as an input parameter and the output parameter will remember the folder so we simply write pit ask we keep the same format and run the module once the maps are processed the resulting map is loaded um, since it's a Nash grid it will load it without color table definition and it will apply a default grayscale. We can simply change that by resetting the color map and applying an elevation table, color table. So next is to create the map of flow directions. And we can simply take the pit filler oops, add, as an input and it will ask the flow directions map as output. Same as before, flow R, and we run it. Okay, the flow direction map has been produced. Don't panic, this is all looking white. It's just a, color, uh, uh, a matter of color table. So again, we reset the color map and we apply predefined table a flow table so this looks more like a flow directions map in jigger tools we have a drain deer module that corrects the flow directions a bit better and creates the map of total contributing area so um, the first let me check again is the, the bitted elevation model so we simply drag that one here the second is the map of flow direction like that here we leave everything else as it is and it produces two maps one we call drain and one we call PCA for total contributing area and we run the module Again, the color table is not exactly what we would like. The total contributing area, if we apply a quite common color table, rainbow, let's say, it looks like that. And where the channels are, where there is a very high total contributing area, you can see that the color changes. Actually, this map can be viewed even better if we apply a logarithmic color table. So this will kind of show where the channels channel network is in the basin. So we can now get to the water outlet, which is the module that really does the destruction of the basin. We have to pick a point where we want to extract the basin, let's say here, and the module needs the map of flow direction, which is now drain, which is the corrected one. And then it needs us to click on the outlet that we want to produce, let's say this point. And in output, it requires to define a map for the extract basin mask. So again, we simply run this. And again, let's zoom back to the new map and apply a decent color table. In this case, this is a mask. If you reset the color table, it, uh, color table, it has only one value. So the black we see here is actually a no value and we can add simply a rule for no values and say to keep it transparent. And let's say we play, oh, we do red for the basin. 
So if we apply this, this now looks quite better. It's really the mask of the extracted basin. Here we are.